Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about the new Diablo 4 update that just went live over on the Blizzard website. This is going to go ahead and actually cover a lot of different topics and there will be things that I will be mentioning that weren't actually covered in here, but I want to go ahead and kind of condense the entire article and give you guys the information that you want without reading every single uh, piece of text on screen. So anyways, yeah, it just came out. There's a lot of uh, new information here and I want to go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing that they talk about is the item icon style tests and this again, everything that I'm showing you guys is a work in progress. So things are of course subject to change. They're also kind of looking for feedback as well so if you guys want to go ahead and comment down below i'm curious to know what you guys my viewers think of some of these changes so the first change over here is the item icon style so as far as the icons go on the items here they've actually changed the way that some of the items look but also there's a little background on each one of the items you'll see from left to right we've got common we've got magic rare and what looks like to be a set item and then the last one over here is most likely a unique item so you can kind of see the item rarity progression here. Um, in addition to that, there was a mention in the article that items won't be uh, very large, as in if you've played Diablo 2, some of the items will take up more inventory space. In Diablo 3, you have rings and amulets, which will use like one square, and then you also happen to have your items that use two squares, and they're going to keep it the same way. That's as far as items go, that's what they mentioned. They also briefly do show off the inventory system, and before I get into that, I do want to mention something that's kind of important. The game looks like it's similar to what we saw at BlizzCon in terms of complexity. This was one screenshot that they did show off, and I want to compare this screenshot, which is the newer one that just came out today, uh, with the BlizzCon uh, tree that was shown off during BlizzCon, uh, which was last year. Anyways, you can compare the Barbarian one that we're opening up on screen. The one on the far right is the one that was shown off today, and the one that's uh, in, like, more so the middle is the BlizzCon one. You can tell that the tree is exactly the same, and a lot of people were mostly interested in knowing the complexity on the tree, and as far as the talent tree system goes, it looks to be more similar to what was already revealed at BlizzCon. Keep in mind this can be changed, but they basically only really changed the background. They haven't added newer talents or complexity to it as of right now, but I just wanted to go ahead and show off the comparison. Uh, but also, there was something uh, important to mention for consoles, but this can technically apply to PC since with PC you can actually plug in a controller, they're supporting controller support, and if you do play multiplayer, at least on console, both players will have their own menu screen, meaning that you don't have to wait for one player to kind of go ahead and equip everything and then be like, okay, it's my turn to open up the inventory because both players will have separate uh, inventory screens. But there's also a few other things that you guys might not have actually noticed, and that actually comes down to the ultimates. So previously at BlizzCon, what was shown off is the, at least the sorcerers at the moment had three ultimates, plus they happen to have a slot that was unknown, probably a placeholder for something else. But as you can see, that has actually been removed. So maybe they, they are actually reducing the amount of ultimates or in this build that they were showing off via the screenshots, they just simply didn't have that ability to go ahead and just have that as a placeholder. They just kind of left that out. But it just kind of shows you guys uh, the progression and the different menu systems uh, that exist in the game. But uh, going further down here, I want to show off the uh, inventory system. So one thing that you will notice is that gloves, uh, or perhaps maybe on the druid you just wear bracers instead, it has actually been removed. Um, and also the shoulders and belt are not present, at least in this inventory screen. But the inventory system looks a little bit different. Um, before how it worked was uh, when you had this uh, stash space over here, it was actually something that you would scroll down with. You had sections called equipment, consumables, quests, and materials. Now, instead of it just scrolling down, just super long, you have them in tabs. And I think this is overall, it's a good change. Again, I would like to know your guys' thoughts on any of the things we talk about. So I think the tab system is much better than having to scroll down. Um, scrolling down doesn't give you more inventory space. Every single section while you're scrolling down previously, it had its own section of things that you would put in. So overall, I would say most people will probably enjoy these changes. But the thing that I'm mostly interested about is knowing if you guys like this system as far as inventory, I think the more items that you introduce into the game, like let's say shoulders or the belt or the gloves and or bracers, again, we see bracers here, but no gloves. Um, 
But again, it could be that the druid just wears bracers instead of gloves. But nonetheless, the more items that you add, the more complexity that you can potentially have for the game. And another thing that still is in its current state with Diablo 4 is the potion system where you have a quantity. In Diablo 2 and 1, you had quantity as well. Uh, but in Diablo 3, they used to have quantity, but now it is now made so you just keep on popping the same potion over and over again. Uh, but I, honestly, I don't really care too much about that because it doesn't take up inventory space like in D1 or D2, it did take up inventory space. But we can also see that there are consumables, there's also quests and materials. A lot of people were really looking forward to a tab with charms. I think that would be a great addition as well. But as far as this goes, they've also added the angelic, demonic, and ancestral. These are completely new mechanics that they mentioned before, and now we can see them kind of implemented into the stat sheet, uh, so to speak here. So that is another newer change to the game. Uh, the next thing I wanna go ahead and mention is the uh, UI as far as where things are located. So let me go ahead and show this off. So uh, they have two different uh, orientations of where the health, mana, and your skill bar is completely located. So basically they said that it's much better for people that are playing on TV to go ahead and have the health and mana on like the bottom left corner. Uh, it just makes things easier for them. And then for PC players, uh, most people prefer to have the health and mana kind of in the center in the bottom section here. Now one thing to mention is that if you are playing on PC, you can go ahead and change the positioning. It doesn't really matter that much because you're gonna be able to change it. Um, and also, keep in mind, you can plug in a controller uh, with the PC version of Diablo. Um, another thing I do want to mention that is pretty important is that if you are actually uh, playing on PC and you want to do co-op, because they did say that they support controllers, uh, there is no confirmation that you can play co-op on PC uh, with like just two controllers. On console, obviously, yes, that will be available. But for PC, I'm not sure how that will work because you obviously will have to like log in at the start but they could definitely change it. But again, it was something that I saw on one of the Reddit forums that people were asking and there was no confirmation on that subject matter, but they kind of briefly explained that. Um, another thing is they show off the uh, system in order to equip skills and you can bind left mouse to uh, force move, which is actually a really good thing. If any of you guys have played Wolsum, which is a new action RPG, you're forced to use your basic attack on your left click. It's actually kind of frustrating that you cannot change uh, your left mouse to be force move. And they said that they will enable that by player feedback. So they are listening, which is quite great. So comment down below uh, or, you know, post on the forums. They're, they're actually listening, which is a really simple thing, I guess, to go ahead and add. I don't think anyone's going to complain about that. Um, there was a few people complaining that this was too easy as far as adding skills. So when you go ahead and open up your skill screen, uh, it's kind of small over here that you can't zoom up on it. But basically what it comes down to is you'll see your skill bar instead of it dragging it to like the, the bottom section, um, you have the screen where you just drag onto the right side or if you're playing with a controller, which is the like little uh, gift that's on the right side, you'll see that you can go ahead and rebind them. It's just really simple um, and it's just really nice as far as quality of life versus dragging it to let's say like the middle or going to your equip skills and then uh, manly doing it uh, if you've played diablo 3 you probably already have your elective mode in but by default you can go ahead and place your skills anywhere that you want and like i said they mentioned the couch call up now the next thing that we're going to show off is a unlisted video and i will actually pin it down below but they briefly go over the new design of the cannibals which is a new uh, family that was introduced so let's go ahead and just check that out we'll watch the full video it's relatively short it's like a minute and again if you guys want to watch the full thing i actually haven't watched the full thing i basically skimmed through it but um let's go ahead and check it out and listen to th now this audio is from uh, Diablo 4. We were listening to Path of Exile soundtrack, just because there's there's no D4 soundtrack yet. But they're just showing off the uh, gameplay rendition of this uh, monster family is what they're calling it. But it looks good. Um, they showed off a lot of uh, different screenshots of this as well. But if you guys want to watch it without me talking over it, it'll be pinned down below as well. And I guess we get to uh, kind of listen to some of the audio that may be in the game. But it looks good. Okay, nice, we get some, some close-ups. 
I like seeing that little handprint on the uh, the guy over there. Uh, they briefly do mention that the origin of this uh, monster family, the cannibals, is unknown. It might be um, some of the older barbarians, which will be interesting to see if they kind of touch up upon the lore a little bit later. Uh, but that's it. Like I said, it is a unlisted video, but uh, let's go ahead and check out. Oh, comments are actually disabled. I was going to say, let's go ahead and see what the community has to say about that. But nonetheless, uh, there isn't uh, much to say about this. They briefly talk about the monster family system, which uh, we've already talked about basically that they're going to have like these groups of monsters that you'll encounter in certain, let's say like tile sets, so to speak. Um, they briefly talk about them, but we've covered this before and they just briefly talk about it. They've got riddled with bite marks and stuff like that. There's a few other newer screenshots, so we'll go ahead and check them out. Keep in mind, uh, just like it says at the top, everything is a work in progress, so things can change uh, as uh, things uh, evolve. But they show off some more gameplay of some of the uh, attack mechanic, which, I mean, let's be honest here, we're probably just not going to like look at most of the things, unless it's a boss mechanic that's going to have something for us to dodge. Uh, we're probably just going to go ahead and face roll anyways and not care too much about uh, this archetype. But you can see some of the attack animations, and I think that that's cool because sometimes uh, they do happen to use some skills that might cross over with some of the uh, actual characters. There's actually one last screenshot that I do want to mention that is something that could be uh, something to take note of, which was right here which I don't actually think was shown off before. We can see right below the uh, Sorceress, which looks like it's uh, the class that we're seeing here. Uh, and, well, I'm, I'm like 99% sure, unless they somehow change it. Uh, there's like an aura below it. So a lot of people were wondering if auras would make a return. It looks like that's an aura. I cannot confirm that, uh, but via looking at what it looks like to be, uh, there's also nothing under it. It could be something completely different. Um, other things have actually been removed. Uh, actually, if we go to one of the earlier screenshots that they've shown off, uh, when they go ahead and go into the... Uh, showcase of the skills, which was right over uh, here with the couch co-op picture. So you can see the skills under, uh, let me go ahead and actually do it like this. So we have no cam here for a second. So you guys can kind of see this a little bit better. Uh, so you'll see over here on the defensive, we have three different skills. Now before under defensive, this is a, a very, very long skill tree over here, but under defensive, this was again comparing whoops, the things that we saw at BlizzCon, we could see that there was flame shield, ice armor, blizzard, and the last one is teleport. They've actually kind of scaled down some of these skills. So I'm not sure if this means that they are actually removing uh, content from the game or if they're just trying to finalize things to make it look a little bit cleaner. But you can see that there's a different uh, amount of skills and maybe that they are reducing it so there's less clutter. But again, uh, they had removed, again, two other ultimates. So I'm not sure if they're going to simplify the game or make it more complex later down the line again. This is just information that I'm trying to give you guys so we can uh, kind of talk a little bit about it because I think that the more skills that they add, even if they're not usable, maybe that they can add a unique to the game that will make things a lot more viable in the end game, so to speak. But anyways, that's the information that we have currently. And also another uh, thing to mention, the last thing I want to mention is there is, uh, there's a picture of some gameplay of the sorceress wearing a cape, which was also right here. And there was no cape as an attachment. It might be a piece of the armor. I don't know. It's more just so speculation. Um, you know how we're missing shoulders. Maybe that there, I mean, you can kind of see some, some shoulder armor there. It could be part of like the chest armor though. Same thing with the cape or a cape could be a completely new mechanic where it's just like another item that we have to go ahead and customize our character. But that's all the information that we have. It's uh, relatively small, but there are a few new things to the game that I think some people will be happy about. But you guys can comment down below what you thought of all of the new uh, changes with this system. Again, commenting on YouTube or on the uh, forums is probably the best place because they do check out other people's YouTube videos and they're taking into consideration a lot of the things. Specifically, the most important thing is honestly that we get that left mouse force move. It's actually really important for anyone that plays on PC uh, to have that uh, as an access. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, drop a like on it. And if you are new here and you do want to keep up to date with Diablo 4, I'm covering everything that does come out for this game. And if you guys are new to the channel and have not seen some of my previous Diablo videos, we actually talk about a huge leak that came out to be true. Um, and I definitely recommend you guys to check out some of these yeah, other Diablo videos. We go over every single legendary item that's uh, introduced into the game so far. And I'll 
I'll pin all the things down below if you guys would like to go ahead and check those out as well. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one, and I'm signing out. Peace.